Hello friends, I'm Ashwini. Welcome to our channel Evolve with English. In today's video, we are going to learn about a little girl who saved her mother's life by doing a pact with the sun through the story A Pact with the Sun from Class 6 English Supplementary Reader A Pact with the Sun. Saida's mother was very ill. She was troubled by cold, cough, fever, body ache, joint pain and what not. She went to many doctors but no use. She felt a little better but again back to her sick self. Her neighbors suggested her to go to the specialist even though the fee of specialist is quite high. After all, life is precious than money. Saida's mother went to a specialist. Saida's mother sold trinkets to give the fee of doctor. The specialist prescribed some costly but effective medicines and advised her to take healthy diet that is green vegetables, milk. Most importantly, he advised her to sit in sunlight and have fresh air as she was living in dungy or dark room. The doctor advised her to leave this room and move to the room where she could get sunlight and air. Some neighbors objected on this advice and said direct exposure to air and sunlight to the chronic cough will aggravate or will make the situation worse. But Saida's mother did not listen to neighbor and she decided to listen uh, to the doctor's advice wholeheartedly. She told to move her charpai in the next room where she could get fresh air and sunlight. Next day, she moved in the courtyard but the sun was not there. The sky was overcast with thick clouds. Saida's mother could not get the sunlight. So, Saida's mother became sad and she said, Oh Lord, why have you ordered sun not to come to the earth? How would I be recovered? Saida heard her mother's lament but kept calm. Saida, as a little child, talked to the son and had a pact with him and told the son to come to cure her mother. Yes, children do have a special language in which they can communicate with the sun, the moon, the god, the surrounding the nature and this language is very special. Grown up don't know this language. Next day also there was thick clouds in the sky and the sun ordered all rays. We will stay up in this up here and we will not go to earth. But one of the ray said that I had packed with Saida or else how her mother would be cured. The little ray revolted against the sun and said to sun that I'll pierce through cloud and reach to Saida's courtyard. I want to cure her mother. So the sun permitted her to do so and then at the given time the sun rays shined in the Saida's courtyard. Saida cried with joy and her mother to see the sunlight, her eyes welled up with tears and she was very happy to see the sunlight and fresh air. Even though her skin pale, her eyes and skin glowed with sun, with the shine of sun. Saida's mother and Saida filled with gratitude. The morning air brought a new fragrance. Birds chanted a new tune. Saida's mother felt much better already. She is fully recovered now, but she still follows the doctor's advice. An hour of sunlight and lungs fulls of fresh air every day. 
this was the story a pact with the sun showing the importance of fresh air and sunlight to maintain our health to maintain our healthy life so here we come to know the importance of sunlight and fresh air for health in this way little saida saved her mother's life by doing a pact with the sun hope you like the video if you do like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you